46-year-old brother Emil leads his followers to their testing ground. It's a walk they make every Easter weekend, as they believe it's when the powers of the universe are at their strongest. They call themselves the Iron Kings. Numbering close to a thousand now, they trace their roots back to an alchemist healer from the 19th century. We are not just a gang that hangs out together. We believe we are servants of God, here to protect the peace of the community. Brother Emil shows us where he has embedded sacred stones into his body to ward off evil. He does the same for the other members. They believe these magic stones and the special amulets they wear help them become invincible to bullets and blades and invisible to their enemies. 26-year-old security guard Eric is preparing to be initiated into the group. It's a special moment and he's nervous. The Iron Kings believe not everyone is called to the task. After praying over this special sword, Brother Emil strikes initiates with it. If they don't get injured, then that shows their faith in God is strong. And they are welcomed into the fold. Anyone can try to become a member, but most of the Iron Kings are security officers, policemen, intelligence agents, and guards who joined the group to better protect themselves from the violence and ills of society. Brother Mario has been with the Iron Kings for nearly a decade, but he returns every year to receive extra blessings by being initiated again. It's a sword. Of course it hurts. It's really sharp. But I feel very strong because I have God on my side. The faithful then prepare their amulets to be blessed by their leader. His prayers and their faith will make the items more potent than any bulletproof fists. Some even test it just to be sure. If the amulets survive the gunshots, they are considered endowed with a sacred force. It's a mix of belief in the powers of nature and centuries of Christian teaching. In these overly modern times, there are too few believers. Some are even rude towards us, instead of just keeping silent. I know who I am, and we let them be. They should just leave us to what is ours. In the end, the Iron Kings believe it is one's faith that is the measure of a man, no matter which way it is defined or tested. Margo Ortigas, Al Jazeera. Cavite, the Philippines.